Kermit. Hey, hey, Kermit. Want to hang out? Want to do an unboxing with? No, you want that <sighs> All my friends leave me. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Boy, do I have something special for you today. It is the Xylophone by by Play. The what the everyone knows the brand Play. So cute. This is meant for kids. We're bringing this down a notch. The last items we reviewed for you was the air guitar and the classical piano fingers, which we all know it's for more mature audiences. This we're bringing back down. This is for the everyman. This is for children. Everyone can play this. And what a catch my breath. <laughs> Why are you so out of breath? Why? Yeah. I'm out of breath because I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful this is. Xylophone. The treble clef and the, the note. It's blue. It's actual metal. And if you'll recall, all the fans of our series will know that this is a subtle reference to the first episode of our series which kicked it all off. That tiny uh, xylophone that from Ja Ru. First thing we do is the toss test. It's survived that. You gotta be a little more violent with this thing because it's made of metal and it can take it. It's built to take it. It's built for kids. You know, kids, they, they bash things around a bit. You know, kids aren't the most uh, coordinated, but I am. We're gonna start by unboxing this. That's why it's an unboxing review. That was pretty easy. Oh, folds out very nicely. Look at that. That's pretty easy includes two small mallets. The includes two small mallets is a sticker. It's covering something. There was something else under that. I want to know what that is. We're, we're after the truth here. Includes two. All right, two is under there. This is gonna be worth it. Oh, wait, wait. It was a typo. It was a typo. Two mallets. It's, it's hard for you guys to see, but under the sticker, it says two mallets, which is not how you spell mallet. That's with an A. They were covering up a typo. Play, the, the Play organization that we all know, they designed this item and shipped it out. And then probably Friday afternoon, end of the long work week, everyone thinks they're going home. And the manager kicks open the door. He's like, wait, wait, no one go home. There's a typo. Hold the production lines. And he sends one poor intern out to every store in the country, or at least on Staten Island, and go out with a little sticker, goes to every toy store and just puts that typo over it because that manager is a true artist. The people at play, they make such quality stuff. This isn't a symbol of lack of care. This is a symbol of quality. The fact that they tried to cover it up shows effort, and I appreciate that. You know, they could have just let it go, but play is above that. I like that. To honor them, we're gonna start playing this. I'm gonna make the most beautiful music out of this. Here are my two small mallets. I'll call them mallets. You know, that's a subtle reference to the mistake you guys made and then covered up. Sounds kind of hollow. Probably eat Chinese food with them. It's like chopsticks or something. Go over here Both with it? Oh, these dreaded things. I'm sitting and I'm not gonna go get scissors, so we're gonna work around this. That's not gonna work. Remember I said this thing is built for kids? It's supposed to, it's built like a tank. So we're gonna just... Did I lie? No, see, it's still there. It's still intact, look at that. Ripped right through the cardboard. I'm not taking these off anymore. I can walk down the neighborhood and play this and uh, everyone's gonna love me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, could be a whole octave here, let's see. Let's see exactly where it went wrong. Okay. Okay. It's like trying to do the a flatted fifth there or something. Except for that one note, the rest of it seems to be okay. The octave is good. You know what these are for? This isn't just design. These are meant for percussion. The test of all these instruments is whether or not they can play all-star.
missing a few notes there, but we need to add some beat. I like how each note is a different color. It really gives you, uh, you know, the, the flavor, the feel, the texture, the tone, the timbre of each note. Because, you know, some musicians like to describe sound uh, in terms of color. I'll say something about the build quality of this. It's, I'm sure you can see that on the video, it's bending a bit. Uh, so so the, the base of this could be a little more rigid because it's meant for uh, the chillin'. I think the last thing we have to do with this uh, is just, just rock out and see what happens. One, and a two, and a buckle my shoe. In conclusion, I like this thing. I think this is worth getting. Can it do everything? No. Is it rigid? No. Is it perfectly tuned to the major scale? No, but it's close. This thing is colorful, it's fun, it's mostly in tune, and you can rock out with it. <sighs> and I'm out of breath again, because I don't work out. And that rock out session <laughs> really took all the wind out of me. Thank you to everyone at the company Play for not only for your the build quality of your instruments, but for the care you take into your production, fixing every little typo you have. If you work at the Play company, please uh, respond to my video and tell me about your story. I would love to hear it. I give this an A minus because I normally don't do a grading scale. Oh, Kermit's got the mallet. Oh, look at him! He's, he wants to play! Here, do something. Make beautiful music. Come on, Kermit. I'll help you. Come on, Kermit. No? Have a good day.